Welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In today's video, we're going to add another command to our admin commands. This one is going to be the kick command. So with this one, I can kick any player in the game. I can do that by just saying slash kick and then the player's name. So in this case, I'm going to be kicking player two. So I'm going to put player two here. And then when I run this command, it's going to kick player two, which you saw on the right hand side here. You can also use this to kick all the players in the game except for yourself by using the noob shortcut. So I can do slash kick and then noobs. And now when I run this command, it's going to kick everybody except for myself. And there we go. You can see all the players in the game except for the admin were kicked. All right, so let's go ahead and dive in and see how we can do this in Roblox Studio. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to do is open up the main script inside of our admin frame. This is the script here where we have all the different commands that we can use. And the only thing that we have to do on this one is add the command into the actions list. And we can do that by putting a comma. And then we're going to put quotation marks. And then inside the quotation marks, we're going to put slash and kick. All right, so that's all we have to do for this script. So the other part that we're going to change is in the server script service. And we're going to open up the admin script. And on this script, we have all the different functions for the different commands. So down here at the bottom under our last function, we're going to add a new one. So for this one, let's say local function. The name of this function can be kick. We're going to take in the player that we want to kick. And then what we're going to do with that is we're going to say player. And then we're going to say colon kick. And then parentheses. All right, and that's all we have to do for the function. So down here, we're just going to add it to this list right here. So we're going to say else if. And then we're going to say action is equal to. And if it's equal to slash kick then what we're going to do is run our kick function. Okay, what we need to pass to this kick function is the player that we want to kick. Let's go ahead and test it out now and make sure this part is working. And then I can show you how you can add a custom kick message. Let's go ahead and try it out. So we're going to say slash kick. And then the player's name is going to be player2. And then when we run this command, player2 was kicked. You can see on player two screen that right now the reason is unspecified. So let's go back to the script and I can show you how to add a custom kick message. Okay, so the way you can add a custom kick message is by including it inside the parentheses here. So whatever you put inside the parentheses will show as the reason. And just as a quick example, let's just say breaking the rules. So whatever message you want to do, you're going to put that inside quotation marks. And then what we're going to put for the reason is breaking the rules. All right, let's go and try it out and see how that looks. Okay, let's go ahead and kick player two. So we're going to say slash kick and the player's name. And we'll go ahead and run that. And let's go ahead and check on player two screen now. And we can see we have the same kick message, but now for the reason, it says breaking the rules. All right, so let's say you don't want to give it the same message every time, but you want to give it a custom message depending on the situation. The way we're going to do that is we're going to add it to the need value table. So we're just going to put a comma and then we'll do our slash kick. And then after that, we're going to head back to the admin script in the server script service. We're going to go ahead and locate our kick function, which is right here. And next to player, we're going to do comma and value. And then down here in this list, we're also going to pass the value. And then inside the parentheses, instead of stating the message, we're going to put value. So whatever we type for the value next to the player's name, it's what's going to go here. All right, so let's go ahead and test it out. Let's go ahead and test out our custom message now. So we're gonna do slash kick, and then we're gonna put the player's name. And for the message part, since we're breaking up our command into different spaces, we don't wanna put any spaces in our reason. So for example, let's use the same message as before. So we're gonna say breaking rules. Instead of putting a space here, you can do something like an underscore, you can do a dash or something like that. So I'm just gonna use an underscore. So I'm gonna say breaking underscore and then rules. And then we can go ahead and submit that. And on player two screen, we can see our custom message, which was breaking rules. And let's say they weren't breaking any rules, but they were just inactive. We can kick them with that message as well. So we can say slash kick and then the player's name. And now we'll just say inactive. And now you can see that this kick message has inactive as the reason. All right, so that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for the next one.